day. We lack obedience. We lack men standing up to be men and women standing up to be women. And we want to say it's some kind of gender problem or a gender issue. No, it's a heart issue. It's a heart issue that says that you don't understand that you are created in the image of God and every other person around you is created in the image of God as well. And because you're created in the image of God, you've got intrinsic value. And no person can say to you that you are valued less. No matter the color of your skin, your height, your age, your job, your school, or any other reason. The color of your hair. So we're calling you as Christians to stand up, pick up your cross daily, and follow after Jesus. Be a man. He says, no coward will inherit eternal life. And that's why we're here. We don't want you to be a coward. We want you to be a man. We want you to be a woman. We want you to stand up. In Revelations, he says, no coward will inherit eternal life. No. When's the time? When's the time? When's the time? When's the place? When's the time and the place to expose murder in America? When is the time and the place? Somebody tell me please, when is the time and when is the place to expose murder in the United States of America? You're ruining people's times. You know what? You you asked me a question. I came here to answer your question. Yes. See? 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 No, it's my fault, right? It's, it's my fault. No. No. Is this is this county property? Is this county property? Is this? Okay. Okay. I'll stand right here. Thank you. Thank you. This is public property. I pay taxes on this property right here. Right, and I'm not inside the event, and even if I was, I could have the full right to go inside the event with my signs and talk to people. So I understand, I understand, I'm not here to offend people, I'm here to expose the injustice is what's going on. And what you're trying to do is bring injustice, injustice to me. And we've been through this before, and you know, we've been through this for years now. And this is in my right to stand anywhere I want. This is not changed from last year. Okay, no, I didn't move to the sidewalk last year, I'm not moving to the sidewalk this year. And that is what happens. You get, ex you get opposed by people that are supposed to be protecting other people. When you expose the hypocrisy in which they live, they get upset and they want to move you away. Why do they want to move you away? Because they don't want to see it. They don't want to understand that what we're doing in the United States of America is killing one million children every year. And that's just the ones that they count. Are you on birth control today? Do you know that birth control in a sexually active person has an abortifacient agent in it that kills, that has the potential to kill children in the womb? See, we're here today to expose all these things. You will be without excuse. You will have heard the truth. Now, you can go and you can Google these things and you can look these things up and you will understand rightly what it means. But this is child sacrifice. This is child sacrifice in our midst. Thank you, ma'am. Lord bless you. But what we're doing in America is evil. It's wicked. We are judging people on our own relative or subjective standards. And we're saying enough, enough. We're saying that never is it okay to murder another human being. Never is it okay to objectify another human being. Never is it okay to objectify an image bearer of Christ. So what I want you to understand what I want you to understand is there are some people that don't care about the wickedness. There are some people that revel in the wickedness. And we don't want that. We want you to understand rightly that if you repent, if you turn from your sins and turn towards Jesus Christ, there's life and there's life abundant. And nobody can silence that. They can make the attempt, but nobody can silence the fact that Jesus Christ humbled himself. He came down from heaven. He died on a cross for your sins so that should you repent you might see eternal life. But if you continue in the things of this world, if you continue in the hell of this world and the mockery of this world, there is no mockery to God. You will bow your knees to Him one day and if that's the best argument you have, you should go back to the U of O, sir. If that's the best argument you have, you should go back to the U of O. You should go understand more, more rightly what it means that this murder is going on in your midst and it's going on in your midst because cowardly men won't stand up against it. It's going on in your midst because cowardly women won't stand up against it. 
and we're not going to be in that place. We want you to understand rightly that when Jesus Christ sacrificed his life on a cross for your sins, he meant to sacrifice his life for your sins so that you might have eternal life. But you must repent. You must turn away from your sins and you must trust in Jesus Christ and him alone. Lord bless you, sir. Come stand with this. What we need is Christians to stand up. We don't need Christians to go to church and fill church buildings and pay their tithes every week. We need Christians to stand up against the culture of death. You think the Apostle Paul was killed because he went to church? You think the Apostle Peter was killed because he went to church? You think all the Apostles were killed because they went to a Christian concert at the Roman Colosseum? No. They went and got themselves martyred because they stood for the things of Christ and Christ alone. So we're asking you today, as a Christian, to stand up and be a man. Stand up and be a woman. Stand on the precepts that have made you a disciple of Christ. You have asked Jesus into your heart, you say. Maybe you went to the front and you, uh, maybe you, you had a Bible signed by your pastor. Maybe all kinds of different things were going on. But that does not make you a disciple of Christ. A disciple of Christ is one who obeys Jesus Christ. Good, how are you? Test out to the sidewalk where they've asked you to do that, so we're not encroaching on people trying to get in the gates. So. And what's going to happen if I don't? I would like for you just to move. What's going to happen if I don't, sir? This is legal. I've been here for three, four years, okay? I have the legal right to be here. I don't, and you, you're, we're asking you. no, you're coming here, and these guys puffed all up on me, and then you're going to come here and puff up on me, and you're going to try to subdue my, my legal right to come here and preach the gospel. And you, and you do have that right, but they have a right also to keep this area clear. So this, this area, this area is just no. fine. Yes, sir. The sidewalk is no. To you. no, the sidewalk is where everybody lines up to come in here. We've been here for hours now, sir. I've got video if you want video of just watching people line up on that sidewalk. So please don't come over here and bully me. Okay. Have you been saved by Jesus Christ? Yes. Have you been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ? Then why are you coming to a brother and telling him to be quiet about the gospel of Jesus Christ? Why are you coming to a brother okay. and telling him to be quiet? Right back. I'm gonna go call the attorney. That, okay, back. that's good. Please do that. Please do that. If you come with something, then let's do that. This is what happens, people. In the United States of America, you, you have bullies that try to silence the word. And we're not going to be bullied into being silent. We need men and women who have taken the name of Christ to stand up and stand for the least of these in our midst. These are the least of these. What's going to happen if I don't get I'm going to get arrested if I preach the word of God. Okay. Can you guys, you guys listen? You guys, let me make sure that got recorded. Can you, what's your name, sir? John are you the, you're the sheriff, John Hamlin, right on. So I'm going to be arrested if, okay. I'm going to be arrested if I don't leave here right now. I told you. This is your sheriff, John Hamlin, telling me if I don't leave this spot right now, he's going to arrest me. He can stand there, he can do his Yeah, that's right. When your rights go away one at a time because of a bully, you won't be clapping so much. This is your sheriff. If no, I no amplified sound allowed, if you want to protest on the side, where you can. let me see what's the ordinance is that? It, Why don't you bring what, the ordinance? What here ordinances? No, if he's going to accuse me of a crime, sir. If he's going to, if he's going to accuse me of a crime, totally distasteful. If you guys repent, remember Jesus Christ came down from heaven. He humbled himself. He bore your sins on a cross so that you might be saved. Should you repent from your sins, should you turn from your sins, you might be saved. This Christian man, this Christian man standing before me, your Sheriff John Hanlon wants me to leave this spot right here or he's going to arrest me for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want you to understand that your sheriff is going to arrest me for standing right here preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then you'll have people like this come and yell in my head. And you guys, if you're a Christian at all, you understand the gospel. You understand that Jesus Christ is the redemption from sin. You understand that what we must do is battle against sin. Not only in our own lives, not only in the things that we do every day, but in the things that our culture does every day. So we're begging you, we're pleading with you, we want you to understand rightly that Jesus Christ humbled himself. He came down from heaven, he bore your sins on a cross so that you might be saved. You have two choices in this world. 
And those choices are eternal life in heaven and eternal life in hell. Those choices are made by your actions and what you choose to do. Do you want to continue to live to the things of this world? Do you want to continue to live to the things where women are objectified, where men are objectified for their careers or their school or their education? We want you to understand that you are all created beautiful in the image of God. We want you to understand rightly what it means to be a disciple of Christ. See, Jesus Christ gave us the great commandment before He ascended to heaven. And before He ascended to heaven, He says, Go into all the world and make disciples, teaching them all that I have commanded. Vincent? What are you trying to say? That is. That's disgusting, isn't it? This is what we do in America. The land of the free, home of the brave. We want to silence those that want to expose the darkness. We want to expose the darkness here so that you might rightly understand that when you sacrifice your children, when you have child sacrifice, it exposes you to the wrath of God. And the wrath of God is not something that you want to be confronted with. The wrath of God is something that you want to avoid. You say, well, God knows my heart. And you're right, He does. He knows your heart. And He knows it's deceitfully wicked. So we're asking you today to turn from the things of this world, turn from the things that your culture is saying is acceptable, and turn towards Christ that you might have life, and life abundant. See, Jesus Christ came... And He sacrificed Himself on the cross for your sins. But if you decline that offer, if you can decline His free gift, He has no choice but to give you justice.